medyo naging emotional ako during the first show. Talagang sabi ko sa audience, uh, pasensya na po ako, medyo maiyak ako ha, kasi kayo po ang first audience ko after two years. <laughs> Hello, Pepsters! Kamusta? Welcome to another episode of Pep Spotlight. My name is Bernie Franco, your host. And for today, makakasama natin ay isang singer who made a name for himself here and abroad. He is also celebrating his two decades in the music industry next year. So he is also a host, an actor, and a judge in a singing competition on GMA. So please welcome... Asia's romantic balladeer, Mr. Christian Bautista. Hello, good to see you again. Hi, Christian. Good day to you. So, good day. Yes, would you like to say hi to our Pepsters? Hello sa lahat ng Pepsters. Uh, miss ko na kayo. At uh, talaga namang pansinin natin ang napakagandang lighting na background ni Sir Bernie sa likod. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> Nakakaloka. Pero Christian, before anything else, we would like to greet you a belated happy birthday. Alam ko medyo matagal na, no? a few months ago, but still, uh, belated happy birthday. And uh, uh, kamusta turning? Can okay lang, it? pwede natin sabihin. 41. <laughs> How is it turning Thank 41? Thank you. It was great. The, my wife treated me to a day full of surprise. Surprises, surprises um, with golf, uh, nice meals, social meals, and uh, a lot of uh, time spent together. It was very meaningful, and uh, I really love her for it. And I'm also thankful and grateful sa lahat ng uh, na greet na fans, family, and friends. And I'm very, very excited to face the next 40 plus years. Wow. 40 plus years. Ayan. Ang sweet naman ni Kat, no? Talagang four years married na ba? Tama? Yeah. Yeah. Four years Lovely married. Lovely years. Still, yeah. So, di ba, this is, this is basically your second year uh, celebrating your birthday under pandemic, no? Kasi two years na. So, kamusta yon? Kamusta? Kasi, di ba, before, uh, did you have parang grande celebration before pag birthday mo kasi ngayon medyo di ba limited yung mga tao yeah before uh, swab test lahat at uh, check muna na schedule di ba <laughs> before eh, ka check muna kung sa ka ba nang galing sa ka ba pupunta pero after all the vaccine cards and the boosters um, thank god mas nagrelax na tayo and uh, thank god na uh, more celebrations like these, no birthdays or parang concerts are coming back, and we're just very happy na we continue. Alam yon, we continue to uh, fight and to perform and to entertain. Tama ka dyan, no? kahit paano gradually nakaroon ng sense of normalcy, I guess if you may if you could call it that way, no. So. Nabanggit mo kanina, Christian, uh, uh, Kat surprised you with uh, a celebration. Like, uh, alam ko, uh, she invited a um, parang expert ata or a coach expert pagdating sa golf, tama ba? Yeah, we're really into golf right now. Uh, we're not there yet, pero we want to be. So, uh, nagulat ako kasi ang hirap pa. Uh, maka-schedule dito sa magaling na international golf coach na ito. And uh, nagkaroon kami ng time. So, ang daming kinorek sa akin. At uh, <laughs> ang dami kong natutunan. At kailangan ma-apply ko yan. So, very well, happy another, with that. Ayun, another side of Christian. No? So, when did when did you get into golf? Um, this, ano lang ba, pandemic or even before? Kasi ako, I, I didn't know na you are into golf na. I've been uh, playing for the longest time, pero mas naging serious lang ako and si Kat the past few years, especially during the pandemic, because it's such a, a sport that has lots of space and lots of social distance, lots of trees, 
and it's in the outdoors. Kaya mas na fuel yung uh, passion namin and our drive. Pero talagang uh, nag-enjoy din kami kasi my, my father plays and a, a few of our friends na natutuwa na naglalaro na rin kami. So um, it's, a, it's a very nice community. Oo nga, no, listening to you right now, parang ngayon ko na-realize na tama nga naman, parang perfect sport ang golf pag during these times, no? talagang social distancing, open space. So, it's a nice sport no, na to get into pag ganito. May mga nakakalaro ka ba mga celebrities? Like, may grupo kayo ng celebrities? Kasi nakikita ko marami din sila eh. So, do you get to play with them? Ang labanan talaga is schedule eh. Like, um, I played with uh, Nino Ogi Alcacid once. Uh, we're still trying to get another schedule with other friends as well. Marami, marami nag-golf. Sina Derek Ramsey, sina Rocco Nasino, Ryan Bang. Ang dami nag-golf. So, um, pag nakahanap kami ng, ng, ng schedule, eh, ipupush namin yan. Nice. So, parang nagiging bonding nyo na rin ni Kat ito. Ganun ba yung nangyari? Yeah. Definitely. Kasi you spend hours eh, on the course or on the range. Tapos you talk. And then uh, you get to be together under the sun. Yan. <laughs> Kasi we don't get to play golf. So hindi namin alam yung, alam mo kung paano yung interaction when it comes to golf. No? So health-wise, uh, golf lang ba yung uh, sport mo now? Or do you, do you still go to the gym yung mga ganong bagay? Yes, kailangan na uh, mag-gym pa rin. Definitely. Uh, kung hindi gym, kailangan at least sa bahay, kailangan mag-workout ka. And hello daw from our cat, Nacho! Hello, Nacho! And of course, uh, kailangan pa rin uh, walks or runs and uh, different forms of uh, activity pa rin. Kailangan pa rin. Hindi tayo kailangan, hindi tayo pwedeng nasa isang lugar lang. Tama, no? Uh, Christian, we've been under the pandemic for more than two years, no? Uh, since nandito na rin tayo sa topic na yan, um, how has life uh, been to you uh, under the pandemic? Naka-adjust ka na? Alam mo, if you uh, if you could still, could still recall, no? Yung last usap natin dun sa Kalamansi, although parang podcast lang yun, nagkamustahan lang tayo that time, sinabi mo na yun nga parang natatakot lumabas, yung kasi nga dahil may surge, talagang team bahay pero more than two years now uh, how have you adjusted uh, your life now so definitely get the vaccine right get the boosters still uh, be aware of your surroundings uh, if possible sa mga enclosed spaces wear a mask uh, pero also uh I would also include na parang kahit na may caution, may sana braveness din na kasama. Kasi nga, ninanavigate na natin itong bagong world. Eh. So parang, if you feel na you are safe, secure, vaccinated, boosted, and aware ka sa surrounding, socially distant, uh, wearing your mask, although in some areas pwedeng wala ng mask eh we should uh, brave na rin this new world and start living uh, life as well. Kasi it will also help actually our industry, the live industry, to go to concerts and live events na rin. And speaking of live events, no, nag, nag-venture ka na rin, Christian, sa paggawa ng live events. Especially recently, you had a series of concerts, no, yung... Trilogy, so that's also out of the country. So how was the experience? I mean, performing again after two years. Yeah. Um, medyo naging emotional ako during the first show. Talagang sabi ko sa audience, uh, pasensya na po ako, medyo maiyak ako ha, kasi kayo po ang first audience ko after two years. <laughs> And Pero meron pa rin social distance, meron pa rin um, precautions. Pero habang nasasanay ka na and uh, na-realize mo na everyone's vaccinated, mas medyo nafe-feel mo na yung normalcy. Kaya umaakap ka na, na nag-shake hands ka na, ganyan. It was a wonderful tour with Morissette and Eric Santos and Star Media. And talagang 
uh, na feel namin na uh, nung, nung time na yun, no, a few months ago, that it's back. And then I'm so grateful for part two as well. Yeah, Christian, uh, curious ako. Uh, nagkaroon ka pa ba ng jitters? I mean, kasi di ba parang feeling kasi ng iba, parang medyo nag-adjust, nangalawang dahil nga hindi sila nakapag-perform uh, for two years. Ikaw, uh, what was the feeling like the first time you stepped on that stage? May, may jitters ba or mas eager? It was a mix of both. Meron mga times na may jitters and then meron mga times na wait a minute. Ito na nga eh, binigyan na nga tayo ng show. The audience is here. They traveled for so long. They paid for the ticket. We gotta give them the eagerness and the energy that they deserve. So, yun ang nangyari. Yun ang flow of emotions during that show. Correct. Kamusta naman yung pagtanggap ng uh, uh, viewers sa, sa inyo? na mo ba yung mga palakpak or yung hiyawan? I'm sure uh, just like you na-miss din nila yung mga live performances, no? Yes, definitely. Na-miss ang energy, na-miss ang hiyawan, na-miss ang palakpak, na-miss ang... Na-miss makita ang mga tao na pwede mo silang hawakan at malapit lang at uh, talagang na-miss din nila, na-feel din na. So we're just so happy to be able to do live shows again. Given, of course, that the audience were all vaccinated and boosted. So it makes it easy. Of course, kailangan pa rin eh, safety first, no? So since nasa abroad ka na rin nun, did you also have the chance to travel? Na, alam mo yun, uh, apart from work, to, to discover the cities that you've been to? Yeah, meron mga few days for uh, breaks, few days for uh, shopping, a few days for sometimes playing golf as well. And talagang yun naman ang nagiging masaya sa mga concert tours, eh, yung mga days in between. Meeting fans, friends, family, and time for yourself. Correct, Christian. Uh, apart from uh, doing concerts, uh, syempre nagla-live na rin, no? Napapanood ka sa AOS. So, um, Kamusta yung going back to to the stage again sa uh, hosting, singing uh, on AOS? Um, may live audience na rin ba? Yeah, we have an audience now. It's fantastic. Uh, actual na palakpakan, actual na sigawan din. Uh, and uh, again, the energy. Uh, mas nakakaingan yung mag-perform. And talagang... AOS has been such a blessing to us kasi kahit na before nung hindi pa open ng studios, meron kami mga online AOS, alam mo yun, Facebook Live AOS. And they really still provided us a platform to showcase our talents and our music until nakapasa kami sa, sa studio. So, so we're very grateful. Correct. Christian, curious ako. Um, nung pandemic ba, ang kasi I'm trying to recall our Calamansi podcast, uh, nagkaroon ba ng time na yung, yung term ba ay eh, nawala ng gana when, uh, when there had been no live performances and then now bumabalik-balik na mas, para mas nabuhay ba yung desire mo to, to be more active, uh, to, uh, uh, to perform sa, sa mga live performances? Definitely, merong mga moments of weakness. Definitely, merong mga moments na doubt or worry. And Pero kinailangan mo, kailangan mo talagang makaalis dun sa rut na yun. Eh. Kailangan makaalis ka dun sa, sa negative space na yun. Kasi walang mangyayari kung nandun ka lang sa baba. Kailangan talagang i-force mo yung sarili mo na umangat ulit, get inspiration again for uh, providing for your family, get inspiration for all the hard work that you did in the past, uh, get inspiration from other people who, who desire connection. Uh, at ang mga naisip ko dun is, yun nga, parang with the live industry, kahit na sa ibang bansa, eh, patuloy na, parang normal na yung concerts, di ba? There will be times pa rin na pag nag-positive, halimbawa, ang musical director mo or ang director mo or ikaw or yung backup singer or there is a chance na mapalitan, mapospone, mamove. So it's still unstable, no? 
At ang biggest lesson ko is pa. <laughs> biggest lesson is, okay, aside from the showbiz industry, what other businesses or sources of income should we focus on? Uh, par- na pandemic proof sana or different sources of income. Kailangan, kailangan na mag-isip pang mga people in entertainment. Like, uh, focus ba on online? Focus ba on another business? Ganto, ganyan. Kasi nga, anytime, pwedeng ma-postpone or ma-move. How do we move forward? Uh, andaming mga lessons kung natutunan. Wow, Christian, thank you for opening up. Ha? Kasi parang uh, listening to you right now, medyo nakaka-touch, no? Kasi uh, real talk lang. Kasi people um, have undergone through so so much this pandemic. And well, listening to you right now, parang, di ba, lahat naman tayo pantay-pantay din, artista, normal na tao, na you also go through, but uh, in the end, ang importante, di ba, you, you get on your feet and uh, uh, get back up again after the storm, parang ganun, for nine years, if I'm not mistaken. So Yeah, it's been a blessing. Yeah, um, nakita ko yung, nabasa ko yung isang article when they renewed your contract last year, you were a bit emotional, no? So what what triggered that being emotional? Uh, why were you emotional? Ewan ko ba, pag tumatanda, nagiging emotional. Hindi, <laughs> isa pa eh, ano, parang, here's a, you know, here's a network who decides to, to renew you, to give you a contract, to give you work, who sees your value, who sees what you can uh, deliver and contribute to the station. Not everyone gets that. So, to get that, I was just really grateful na natigilan ako ng konti, hindi ako makasalita ng konti when I was, when I was saying my thank yous. And minessage na lang ako ng ibang mga friends natin and bosses sa GMA na, It's okay, Christian, we love you and all that. So, uh, it was really nice to hear, to, to feel that you're wanted, to feel that uh, uh, people still want to work with you. It's nice. It's a very nice feeling. Especially during a pandemic. Diba? So that was a really nice moment. Right. Agreed. So um, we expect more from you. I mean, uh, alam ko, uh, kakatapos lang ng kailan ba yung clash? Uh, last year or this year then? So is there another season coming up? Uh, can we expect another season? Yeah, definitely. Um, exciting nga itong season na ito. Kasi yung last season, parang uh, I was just so amazed sa mga taong, sa mga contestants na sumali. Kasi napakatindi ng protocols ng last season. Lahat swab, lahat quarantine. Tapos lalaban ka. Now, medyo open na. Medyo level playing field again. Excited ako sa mga new faces or I don't know kung merong uulit. Diba? Minsan may mga ibang kontesero na umuulit. Excited din ako sa mga comments namin na ibibigay <laughs> that will definitely stem from their performances. Excited kami to build, to help, to mentor. Whether they succeed or not, at least meron kaming uh, jewels or nuggets of wisdom na nabigay. Christian, sa point of view mo, pag nakaupo ka doon as a, 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 a judge or a coach? Judge? A judge. Um, as, a, as a judge na nakaupo ka doon, do you also learn something from from these uh, uh, aspiring singers? Yeah. Kasi sometimes, kahit na 20 years has passed, I forget some things. <laughs> I forget some realizations. Uh, sometimes, di ba, may burnout. And then you see these kids talaga on fire, na on fire talaga. Yun talaga ang makakatulong lagi eh. Kapag nakakita ka ng, pag nakakonect ka sa isang performer na iba yung energy or iba yung angle or iba yung atake, parang shoot, talagang bigay na bigay siya. No? So, ang dami ko pa rin natututunan sa kanila. Meron kasing mga pinagdaanan sila na hindi ko napagdaanan. How can I learn from them? And at the same time, yung, how can they learn from me? 
at least it's a give and take relationship no ang ganda ng sinabi mo ngayon na natututo ka at least yung when you see the fire in them diba nakakahawa siya so parang at least nabubuhayan ka talaga no and since nabanggit mo naman yung two decades in the industry yan yeah, no um when you think about that being industry for 20 years how how does it feel parang um ano yung nararamdaman mo pag thinking na uh, 20 years ka na sa industry It is uh, marami. It is a uh, blessing. It was a uh, roller coaster. It was, uh, I always say roller coaster kapag tinatanong ako. Ang daming, may mga highs, may mga lows, may mga uh, victories, may mga struggles. Pero kung tuloy-tuloy ka lang, talagang uh, marami kang mararating. At if you really revive your passions and if you really uh, want if you want to do more or do new things, then talagang other avenues can open up. Eh. So, and at the same time, parang, okay, after 20 years, what's next? What else should I do? What else can I do? Who else can I help? Uh, ano pang mga different paths? Ganyan. And daming mga realizations. Okay, Christian, uh, uh, dahil nabanggit mo din yung mga realizations or yung uh, plans mo in the next 20, 30 years more, uh, ano yung mga uh, plans mo right now or yung mga gusto mo pang uh, gawin in the coming years? Pwede bang, ano, uh, can you share us? Uh, other businesses, I want to try other businesses. Also... A 20th year celebration concert. Uh, we're going to do that. More music, definitely. Uh, should I look for an artist to mentor? Artist to help? Uh, should I produce more? Should I direct? Should I... Should I run for... In marathons? <laughs> <laughs> Nakita ko yung mukha mo. I'm just kidding. Uh, and uh, explore. Basically, explore uh, other things na, na I can do based on everything that I've learned. Nothing specific pa. Okay, kinabahan ako, so, kinabahan ako dun sa you will run. Akala ko kasi parang <laughs> few years from now, I'll see you in public office. Eh. <laughs> Nilalaw ko lang kata. Nilalaw ko lang kata. <laughs> Pili ko hindi naman ako magugulat kung tamakbo ka. I think baka manalo ka pa no? kung mag-start ka. Pero yan, Christian, yung uh, next year, it will be next year, no your uh, 20th year. And uh, nasabi mo This na, year is my 20th year, pero celebrating uh, a concert uh, next year. Okay, so next early next year yung concert, no? If I'm not mistaken, it's on... January 28, 2023, right? Yeah. So, yun. Uh, alam ko, it's just a few months away, pero hindi ko alam no, kung ano na yung development. I'm sure pinagpaplanuhan mo yan. What can we expect? Uh, sino yung mga magiging guest mo? Do you have uh, a list already on what people could look forward to kung panonoorin nila yung concert mo? We have a list. Kapag... Uh na na-sign na yung mga kontrata at nasa calendar na nila pwede na i-announce pero habang wala pa hindi pa pwede ma-announce we are gonna have an orchestra we're gonna have a wonderful director and musical director Paolo Valenciano Mike Solomon it's gonna be at the Samsung Theater at Circuit Mall Makati it's a wonderful theater we're gonna sing and reminisce the songs that I've released and find out uh, what made them so beautiful to me and to our audience and it's like a reunion of sorts so talagang uh, I'm very excited for it a, re a reunion of sorts so I guess I'm I'm sure yung mga nakakapanood nito magkakaroon na sila ng idea kung sino yung mga possible guests mo no? um, also Christian apart from your concert uh, syempre di ba we all know that you were able to make a name in, 
in other countries as well, especially in Indonesia. No? Uh, recently, nagkaroon ka ba ng ano? Uh, do you still have a uh, uh, active, uh, alam mo, I don't know if it, career in Indonesia? May mga recent visits ka ba? Or do you do lives with your Indonesian fans? Yes, uh, I did. Uh, if they follow my social media on IG, TikTok, Twitter, FB, makita nila yung mga shows na ginawa namin sa Indonesia on TV and live shows as well. Very thankful to the Indonesian fans and promoters for always having me, for always requesting the way you look at me and other songs as well. Talagang uh, it's been a wonderful country to sing to as well. A wonderful avenue as well. And kapag tapos na show, you can always just go to Bali, have a break there. It, it's been amazing. So basically, wala pang ano. I mean, walang recent visit uh, mismo sa country just doing live. I did. I did. I just did a few weeks ago. Uh, I posted it on uh, my, my social media. Uh, I had a concert with Michael Learns to Rock. I guested in RCTI TV. I guested at Trans TV. Uh, I performed in a wedding. I had a concert in Bali at Atlas Beach Resort. And more to come. Napaka-busy mo naman pala pagdating sa Indonesia, no? So, uh, kamusta yung fans? I mean, ang dami mo palang nagmamahal na fans sa uh, Indonesia, no? Na hindi ka binatawan after all these years. Yeah, just like our, our friends and fans here in the Philippines, uh, they're still there, very active, going to the shows, and I'm very grateful for them. Correct. Speaking of, of, of active, uh, no, Christian, um, alam mo, maraming artista yung uh, uh, very active on uh, YouTube, no, being content creators. Um, Chinek ko sa YouTube, uh, tama ba ako? Wala ka atang YouTube uh, account? You're not active on YouTube? I do. It's called Christian J.M. Bautista. Yun ang YouTube. Uh, during the pandemic, my wife and I did a series of vlogs. <laughs> Talaga. We had fun doing it. Uh, kahit na naka-quarantine kami. And I definitely need to put more content in my YouTube account. Definitely. Focusing more now on um, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Kailangan maging TikToker na rin tayo. But definitely, you're absolutely right na more vlogs need to go up sa YouTube. YouTube Shorts, uh, doon tayo din nagpo-post recently. Correct. Uh, may mga ano ba? May mga concepts ka na na naiisap kasi parang, di ba, kung manonood ka lang, parang ay, parang manonood ka lang but people don't know na mahirap din mag-isip ng mga concept o, no, pag gagawa ng content. So, uh, may mga list of content ka ba na uh, nasa iyo that will come up on your YouTube uh, channel? Sa YouTube, no, parang nasa sanay tayo sa long form aside from YouTube shorts. I, I want to I wanna let them know me more, know me and my wife more, what sport we're doing, what food we're eating, where we're traveling, a uh, little behind the scenes for different concerts abroad or concerts here, and also basically singing also definitely covers originals and and lots of music as well christian ano lang ako ah? a little uh, personal but it's up to you if you want to answer four years of uh, being married uh, can't we expect to see uh, little christians little cats in uh, in in the near future Every year, no, that question is asked. Uh, definitely, we're uh, planning for a family, uh, praying for God's time. And uh, in that time, ilalabas ko na lang na ganyan. <laughs> okay, well, at least, di ba, na you're still trying, no? Um, uh, ibabalik ko lang dun sa uh, Thrillogy concert, no, Christian? Kasi uh, I've watched uh, bits of clips of your performer performances so through the G. Kamusta yung sharing the stage with uh, Eric who was your batchmate mo siya, di ba? Sa Star mm -hmm. in a Million, tama? Ayun. Yes. I mean, how was it performing with him? Uh, and uh, Morissette, uh, and hindi yata kayo nag-abot ni Morissette sa kabila, tama? Nag-abot ba kami? 
parang papun parang no when I move parang padating siya parang ganon ah uh, they're friends yeah. so ang dali kasama ang sarap makipagkantahan hontahan and madali lang ang trabaho alam na namin yung gagawin namin kapag may time magde TikTok <laughs> talagang na feel din ng audience yung uh, camaraderie at na feel nila yung Uh, oneness. Correct. Uh, nakita ko nga nung may part two last month nung ay nung ano nung November no. Christian, you were you've also been known as a stage actor no. So um, I'm not sure pagdating sa teatro kung ganon narin ka active but uh, do you have uh, feature plans na uh, gumawa na mga stage uh, theater plays? Gumawa, baka produce, baka ganon, or baka sponsor, or baka show by. I did actually support mula sa Buwan and Joseph the Dreamer as a um, part show buyer dun sa isa and part uh, one of the producers dun sa isa. Because theater needs to be active again. People need to see the theater again. And the lessons and the, and the shows and the performances that uh, our lovely theater actors provide. I feel great na unti-unti dumadami na yung audiences. Meron mga sold-out shows na and talagang tumatapang na rin yung mga tao na manood. Kasi nga, uh, nakuha na nila yung uh, vaccinations and boosters. I'm very happy as a producer and as a performer na unti-unti na bumabalik. No? The time will come na it will normalize. It will. And everyone can just go back and just feel that amazing, amazing feeling and power of being uh, surrounded by wonderful music and a wonderful performance. I really believe that. Correct. We are all looking forward to that, no? And hopefully, mangyari, although uh, may mga bagong variants na naman yata, but still, uh, we've come a long way. Um, what about I know Christian acting on TV or I don't know movies. Um, are you still open to these uh, 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 acting projects? Kung meron man, kasi ngayon balik ka na sa music. You're active, but you are also an actor. Um, mas uh, focus ka ba sa pagiging singer more than acting, or dahil wala lang mo na ngayong uh, offers or projects? Open to all, always. Uh, last year, I did a um, TV musical with Julie and San Jose between Escalante and their View Philippines. It was called Still, Still Up. If you can uh, uh, take a look, take a listen. It's a wonderful show about artists uh, trapped during the early stages of the pandemic and lots of beautiful original songs along with uh, Gab Pangilinan and a wonderful cast as well. Grabe yung project na yan. Ang daming emotions na dumaan nung kumakanta kami. Kasi hindi namin alam kung ano mangyayari nung uma-acting kami. Hindi namin alam kung ano mangyayari. And then here we are now. So, if, again, if if there's a right role that is uh, good for me, yeah, very open, always. Ayan. Aabangan namin yan. But for now, um, mas uh, mapapanood ka namin pagdating sa your first love, no? yung singing and performing on stage. And of course, your upcoming concert uh, early next year, so January 28, no, for your uh, 20 years um, in um, in showbiz, no, in the music industry. Um, so there, Christian, thank you for uh, giving us an update about your life. But before we go, uh, maglalaro muna tayo ng mga ano lang, mga pakiut lang na questions, no. Uh, um, Entitled Getting to Know Christian. Let's do it! Okay, first question. Unusual talent or skill that you have? Unusual talent or skill that I have. Unusual talent or skill that I have. Okay. Talent. Okay, 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 okay. Naghahanap ako ng hindi ko pa nasabi o hindi ko pa na, na-share at all. Eh. 
Pero ang pumapasok lang sa utak ko ngayon para hindi maubos ang oras natin is this. Konti lang sa bundo ang nakakagawa nito. Put your lips together like this. And then, you blow. <laughs> Mahirap yun. Try it. Try it. Try it. It's so cute. Oh, di ba? Ang hirap. Wow. Parang ang dali niyang tignan pero ang hirap niyang gawin pala. <laughs> Special Sorry. time talaga yan. <laughs> pero tinry ko. Ha? Talaga may hirap siyang gawin. Okay. Okay, next question. If you weren't a singer, what would you be most likely? Kung hindi ka na singer, pur- I would pursue my course, landscape architecture, and be a businessman. Ipupush natin yan. Okay. So, you're not closing your doors to it pala? No. Why not? It's such a lucrative ano, business and profession. But now, Christian, may mga ventures ka ba relating to your course? Maraming adventures. Hindi, ano. Uh, it's more of partnering, hiring, uh, looking for uh, a classmate na who would like to do this project. <laughs> Mas ganun. <laughs> oh, ayan. Nakala ko naman. Ano. Well, at least, di ba? Uh, yung course mo ba? Like, like nag, nag, yung usual architecture na gumagawa ng plans for buildings? Ganun ba yun? Uh, it, it's called landscape architecture. It's the science of designing the outdoor space. So if architecture dis- designs the building, kami yung outside the building or where the building will be placed. Parks, um, resorts, uh, golf courses. Oh, wow. At least you're from UP, right? UP fight. Let's go. Perfect. All right. The next question. Favorite movie of all time? Oh, di ba? Kit lang. Madali lang yan. Lord of the Rings. All three. When I was young, hindi pa uso ang Lord of the Rings. Sinanap ko sa mga book sale lahat ng mga second-hand Lord of the Rings books kasi my father introduced The Hobbit to us. And nung nagkaroon na ng movie, parang wow! Enjoy. Ah, so fun ka ni ano, J.R.R. Tolkien. Kung ganun. Yeah. May tanong dito, nakakapagsalita ka daw ba ng ano, Elvish? <laughs> Elvish? Uh, hindi pa. Elvis. Kaya ko. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least we tried. <laughs> at least you tried. O, diba? o, sige. I think this is the last question. If you get to talk to your 20-year-old self, what advice would you share with him? Ah, oh, I love this question. Okay. <laughs> Christian, mag-invest ka sa Google Meets, sa Zoom, sa alcohol, sa mask, kasi magkakaroon ng pandemya. <laughs> Kaya, magsimula ka ng mga business na yon para pagdating na pandemya, okay ka pa rin. <laughs> Wise words, <laughs> wise words from Christian Bautista. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Christian Bautista in the house. So Christian, before I let you go, please promote your upcoming concert and your social media accounts. Thank you, January 28th. Please uh, be with me. Sa concert po natin, it's called The Way You Look At Me at the Samsung Theater. It's going to be at the Circuit Mall, Makati. Tickets are at Ticket World, so please check it out. Please uh, reminisce with me and let us remember all the beautiful songs we shared together. And for social media, yes, we're doing it. TikTok tayo, Christian Bautista. Sa IG, it's Action Bautista Twitter. Action Bautista, YouTube, Christian J.M. Bautista, Facebook, Christian Bautista, lahat po yan, gagawin natin. Kung papasukin natin ng uh, Be Real, abangan na lang po natin. <laughs> Pero gagawin po natin lahat yan because I still want to connect with you and I would love for you to connect with me and celebrate this journey and watch out for the next exciting adventures to come. God bless you. 
And thank you, everyone. Ayan. Ako personally excited, no, Ian, about your um, upcoming concert. Kasi syempre, lumaki kami. Oh, well, lumaki talaga. I mean, di ba, uh, uh, through the years, napapakanggan natin ang mga classics mo. Personal favorite ko yung The Way You Look At Me. Um, so yun, guys, um, sa so January 28, abangan natin si Christian Bautista. Um, down memory lane tayo, no? So there, um, thank you, Pepsers, for joining us. And uh, don't forget to uh, follow our social media accounts. Uh, visit us uh, visit, uh, visit us as, at, at pep.ph sa Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, Pep Alerts. And then subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pep TV and uh, join us on our Viber, Kumu, and Kalamansi, pep.ph. And you can also follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account, Twitter Burns. And uh, we'll see you next time, Pepsers. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Thank you, Pepsers. Thank you, Bernie. Bye. Thank you, Chris. Bye.